Hey there, everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, sh it should be a short week for people, even though they're back at work and school, I guess, today, because uh, if the Internet's any indication, the Internet's real quiet. Social media, I'm not hearing a whole lot on Facebook or Instagram, so I think everybody's suffering that holiday hangover of back to their regular routine. Today, I want to talk about a realistic raw food diet plan and goals. Uh, guys, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already done it, please go down there and hit that big red subscribe button. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. I bet everybody's all gung-ho, oh gung-ho, you know how it is on that first day. You make these big pledges, you make these big uh, resolutions, you're going to change your whole life. And uh, sometimes it's it's good to dream and it's good to shoot high but sometimes people shoot a little bit high and i think their expectations are a little unrealistic once again i want to take the race part out of this thing everybody's in a hurry in a hurry in a hurry to get somewhere and it's more important that we get somewhere and stay somewhere than just getting there quickly i mean i've watched the people yo-yo back and forth all over the years don't be so stubborn that you won't uh you know take it a little bit slower um, if you really need to. Um, one thing I like, I want, I do like to see people have a plan, even though I don't have a plan. <laughs> well, because it just worked for me. I didn't need one. I would have done a plan and I've done the plans for, you know, I'm, I'm big on doing plans for other things that I'm not so fast to pick up. So I'd like to see people have a plan, have a plan. You can have a plan. I've got, I got my notes down here. You guys know I'm always kind of referring to them. And I was also thinking, too, you could have kind of a state, a plan of st different stages. In other words, like instead of just coming out of the gates and saying, OK, I'm going to be fully raw for life. I'm never going to eat cooked again or this or that. Set yourself up. Make a plan for the first month. Make a plan for three months in. Um, make, make small plans. Um, set small goals. That's something I wanted to talk about a lot is, um, you know, sometimes people sh make that one giant goal out there that is way far away. You're not going to get any gratification for that goal for quite a while, probably. So, and, and sometimes that gratification uh, is a good thing. So that's why I like to see people set like, um, in, and this is in life, you know, I've seen some of this given, the same advice given in business is having short-term goals medium range goals and that big long term goal. Now the short range goals do a couple of things. They uh well they really the main purpose of them is the small victories. Psychologically every time you reach a goal that boosts you. You get, you know, that that just makes it more likely that you will do the next one and you keep feeding off of that. So you gain strength by doing that, and you gain strength by um, setting those smaller goals and reaching those smaller goals, because those are going to be the, the steady little victories that keep you going. The medium goals, maybe something six months down the road or whatever, that's something to be thinking about. It's not going to be immediate gratification, but you're going to, you know, you're going to see that down the road. And then you may have the big picture goal of, you know, going fully raw or doing this or doing that, reversing some health condition, losing a certain amount of weight, whatever. Whatever your thing is, you do you. But let's be a little bit realistic this year. And let me play devil's advocate. If you're not going to be realistic, has the other way ever worked out? Has it? Has it? Has it? And I know you're, I, I know there's a number, there's got to be at least one person sitting out there in my audience that paid for somebody's plan and they're going to do the, they're going to do the plan and they're going to do this, 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 and that. Steady wins the race. Same thing I told you yesterday. Steady wins the race. Um, I, I, I was thinking about this last night laying in bed. Let's say this was a good little mind exercise. Knowing what I know now, what would I do if I were starting over? And I was coming from, we won't say I'm necessarily cause nobody, probably most of you out there were not a drunk like I was, but let's just say you're coming from a, a way of eating like I did. Um, not the best, not the worst, but there were definitely some really uh, bad things in there. If I started all over again, let's say, boom, I'm a meat eater again. I've been eating my chicken wings and I've been, you know, eating burgers and this and that and eating fish because it's healthier than uh, meat, right? And the good meat, chicken, no, because it's better than pork and uh, beef. 
I, like I say, t I would take, I would, knowing what I know now, I would take that long range approach and just start setting down good habits, good habits. I would, um, now knowing what I know now, I would drop them. I don't care. Somebody else may have a different process and I'm not saying you're right or wrong, but knowing what I know now and knowing what the body can handle and what it can't, I would drop day one. I don't care if I just stumbled out of um, the sports bar with a chicken wing hanging out of my mouth. I would drop the animal products immediately. I don't get, you know, maybe somebody else, I don't know. I don't know your personality type. Maybe you can't do that one, but I, I mean, and, and now when I'm talking about that, I would drop the animal products immediately. I wouldn't be doing as healthy a version because I wouldn't, I'm not, you know, I don't believe in going from that sad diet to some really super strict, you know, low fat, this and that. We got to work our way in progressions towards that. So I'd probably just take a good month to uh, get the animal products out of my diet. You know, just take one month. Don't even worry about anything else. Well, you can throw a few things in there, but that's your main objective. Um, you know, just for the first month, throw out the animal products. Get rid of all the animal products. No matter what else you do, just get rid of all the animal products. That's your one goal. But you could also, too, within that, you could start being, you could start dabbling with the raw. You know, you have raw for breakfast. You have fruit for breakfast. You have a smoothie for breakfast. Or you have nice cream for breakfast. You know, so maybe just the first month, just the first month, you concentrate on getting um, the animal products out of your diet and you have one raw meal a day. That's it. That's it. And then you set up these other progressions after that month's over. Now you go to the next progression and you keep slowly progressing, progressing, progressing. It seems a lot less intimidating if you're doing it slowly like that than to just jump from here to there. Um, but once again, you know you. You got to be realistic with yourself. You know, it may be realistic for you. You may be that motivated person. You might have those circumstances. Who knows? Maybe you're kind of got some of those circumstances I was in. Maybe you found out about this lifestyle and you live in an area where you can get good stuff all the time. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. If you got, if you've got the fruit available to you, this lifestyle's so easy. Now you take it, you go down to a hot climate. You don't have, you, I didn't try, so I was a little bit spoiled. In, in Costa Rica, you don't have to try to do raw. You really don't. You really don't. So, you know, some people might be out there, they may have similar circumstances, and it's like, okay, well, I can go a little bit, I can progress a little faster because I have this, uh, you know, all this good stuff available to me. Um, but once again, let's look at it like this. We're on day two of January. Day two. I want you to remember some of those same feelings you had the last week of December. I want to. I want you to think about what you. I want you to go back to January first or second of last year. What was your plan then? What were you trying to do? Where are you now? You know, if, if, it, if did it work for you, or are you one of the? Are you typical? Have you kind of floundered, you know, back and forth? You go from raw, you eat a little bit, you lose some weight, you gain a little bit of weight, you feel a little bit better, you have a little bit of a backslide. But where are you now compared to where you were a year ago? And what were your plans a year ago? So did those plans work out a year ago? Um, if they did, well, then you, you're already raw. You don't need to be looking at this. But uh, if not, you don't do the same thing over and over and over. That's the definition of insanity, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I see people constantly, I know people, I've watched them, they've been trying to do this raw food diet for three years. I know some that go back to some of the first groups that I was in and they're just still, they're treading water. They're treading water. They've never gotten any of the results and I feel bad for them because they're, I know a few people that are really nice like that and they're just, I don't know, they just can't seem to get it. But um, this is going to be the year. This is going to be the year you do it. Just do it little by little. You're going to put a piece. It's all about putting pieces together. You come in. You stop the animal products. You eat a little bit more raw. You learn a few more recipes. Um, you know, maybe the, as you progress down the road, you go more and more raw. Look, if you do this thing right, I, you could be raw in six months if you want to be raw in six months, if you've got the stuff in your area to be raw, fully raw. And that's something else I'm going to talk about too. And, you know, I don't want to like bullshit people. 
people ask me about this all the time, like I'm going to solve the problem for me, and they're like, well, I live so-and-so. Maybe it's in Canada or it's somewhere where they're not getting very good produce. It's cold as hell, and they're like, so how do I do this? And I'm like, I don't know. I've never lived in those circumstances, and I tell them the honest-to-God truth from my perspective. I'm like, if I'm living up in Canada, the north, um, eastern Europe, where it's ungodly cold, and I'm not getting very much good fruit, I'm not trying to be fully raw vegan. I've told you guys that a million times. I'm living in a climate like that. I'm going to be eating sweet potatoes. If I can't get sweet potatoes, I'm going to be eating potatoes. Listen, that's always going to be my philosophy, but that's not something like I'm saying it has to be or people else should do that. This raw vegan was born in the tropics or reborn in the tropics. So um, for me, if I, I, people are always talking about, well, this is the natural way we're supposed to eat. This is the natural way we're supposed to eat in the tropics. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. That no, Nobody else has to believe that or whatever. But my opinion and how I've felt my path and how I've done this thing, I'm supposed to be in the tropics doing this lifestyle. This ain't a lifestyle to be half-assing it because with just bananas and nothing else like that. Yeah, like I say, I'm not, un, I'm not uh, uh, un discontented discontented, um, you know, because like I say, I'm just here for a purpose right now. Hopefully uh, we'll be back home in a couple or three years. And, uh, but, but yeah, um, to wrap this up, kind of rambling early, early in the week. Um, but yeah, just to wrap this up, just be realistic this year and think steady. Don't think all this quick, quick gimmicks, a gimmick, a challenge of this, of that. 30 days, 21 days, 40 days, blah, blah, blah. The next one, the greatest. Just stay the course, be steady, and do it for the rest of the year. If you just, if you just plug away at a good whole food plant-based diet, sugar, oil, and salt-free, more raw every day, by the end of the year, I will guarantee you'll be okay. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.